welcome to Lions Pride, November's edition of Students of the Month. As I said, we're here to celebrate November Students of the Month. And I'm here with our host, Al, Al Thomas, and our co-host, Dean Josh Blagg from Hawthorne House. And I'm Steve Murray, the principal of the high school. Our first student is from Emerson House. It's Catherine Flynn. Catherine Flynn has quite a full schedule. She has six AP classes, AP French, English Literature and Composition, Psychology, Statistics, and Calculus. She's in the National Honor Society, the French Honor Society. She's also part of the Crescendos and serves as the music director. She volunteers also as a mother, uh, mother infant at uh, Lowell General Hospital. And Katie wants to study biology and neuroscience on a pre-med track. Congratulations and welcome. How are you? Good, how are you? Great, thanks. He underestimated or understated your academic program. <laughs> um, do you find it really challenging with that? I mean, the soft course, one of them is not in physio. Trigger point. The easy one. Um, <laughs> I've learned to manage the course load. I have a very organized schedule that I follow every night. Yeah. Um, it has been kind of challenging as it is a lot I of AP so. classes. <laughs> but I really no, no, love great. going to all of them and there Good. isn't one class that I wouldn't I wish I hadn't taken. Yeah. What do you do as the um, music person for the crescendo. So as the music director, I am in charge of this year, I'm in charge of arranging our competition set. So we perform in um, competitions. This year we're currently um, going to perform in the ICHSA competition. So uh, it's a 12 minute set. So we have, as a group, we choose songs. And then as arrangers, we have to listen to the songs and arrange different parts for each voice part and each person and then go ahead and teach it to a group of our peers. So I have to, um, me and one other girl are arranging it and we arrange it at home and then we have to come into school at rehearsal and teach the music to our friends which is harder than it sounds because yeah. you have to learn how to like get people's attention and like really connect with people and then work on the music as well. So it's pretty much student run it sounds like. Yeah, we um, Miss Rader um, helps a lot too, but for the most part, it's the music directors. Um, What's the difference between the crescendos and the, the Thursdays, which you're part of as well? Uh, yes, the the crescendos are the all female um, acapella group, and the Thursdays is a co-ed acapella group. Um, they've been around, I think, for a little while longer. The crescendos was originally a treble choir, which was again a group of all females, but we sang choral music. And then my sophomore year, we decided that we wanted to follow an acapella route. So we switched gears and then we um, had, the treble choir wasn't auditioned, so then we auditioned and made cuts and then got a name and really got into that acapella atmosphere. Excellent. What kind of work were you doing at uh, Lowell General? Um, so every Friday I go um, and I volunteer inside the mother infant unit. So I sit with um, the nurses and the technicians, and I pretty much monitor the doors. So because it's a it's a secure unit because of the the infants, and so I make sure that no one steals a child, or I have to make sure that um, everyone coming in knows the last name of the mother. So I need to allow them to come in, and then I also ans answer phone calls from the mothers in the surrounding rooms. And if they need anything, I'll get their nurses. I bring them waters, anything they might need. Yeah, so you get some real responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What prompted your interest in pediatrics? Um, I've just always loved working with children. I've worked as a camp counselor the past two summers, and I really, for my whole life, I've wanted to be a doctor. And like as a kid, I always wanted to be the doctor that was helping me. So that really prompted me to go into pediatrics because I wanted to be someone who was helping. What schools are you looking at? Um, I'm looking at a wide range of schools right now. I don't really have a top school, but I'm looking for um, a school that will provide me a lot of opportunities on a pre-med track. Well, very good. On behalf of the Chelmsford Rotary Club, I want to congratulate you on what's taking place at Chelmsford High School. Thank you. And wish you the very best as you go Thank forward. Thank you. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next student of the month is also from Emerson House, and his name is Sam Siegel. Just like Catherine, he has many AP classes, AP French, Environmental Science, AP Calculus, English Literature and Composition, Psychology. He's also the serving president of the Thursdays, which we just, just heard about and want to hear more about for sure. He's also the varsity tennis player and is the captain of that. 
He volunteers at the, Neshoba, uh, at the Nashua Boys and Girls Club and is religious cultural vice president of the North American Federation uh, of Temple Youth. He enjoys playing at, at CSNT and he plans to attend college and study architecture or environmental studies. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Question that I, I have been bothering me a little bit. How do you pick the people for Thursdays? I mean, it's a pretty select group. Yeah, so um, every year, all returning members who have 95% attendance or more um, don't have to audition again. And then everyone else who doesn't have that high of attendance has to audition again. And anyone else from grades 9 through, or I guess upcoming freshmen, so 8 through 11 can audition for the group. And seniors who have that same attendance rate and um, Miss Rader decide who will be in the group. How many um, usually show up to try out? This year there was about 50. Wow. Oh. Well, it's very, you know, they've been so successful. I can understand they want to be part of it. That was cut. The, <laughs> so, you, so you had a, a fantastic, fantastic play, Fiddler on the Roof, and Thank you're it. part of the Theater Guild. What was your position there? Um, so in the F Theater Guild this year, I was Avram and Fiddler on the Roof, as well as a Russian soloist. And so I've been a part of the musicals every year, and I've um, been a part of the festival plays. Of all the performances, and you've been in many, Sam, what, what's been your, your favorite experience? Um, my favorite experience performing through Chelmsford High School would have to be with the Thursdays um, going to New York City. So for the past two years, we've qualified to be in the final rounds of the International Championship of High School Acapella. And so last year we performed in Lincoln Center with the other eight best high school acapella groups in the country, and then the year before at the Town Hall Theater. So that was a really cool experience. If it was difficult for our previous speaker to deal with the kids in the group, you're the president. Yeah. What kinds of things do you have to do? Maybe not as much on music. <laughs> yeah, so um, I share the president role with another person oh, okay. in the group. And basically our job is to help with communication in and outside of the group with um, Ms. Rader and making sure people are responding to different tasks that we have to do outside, learning their music, um, moderating discussions when we decide our repertoire, so things like that. I find it interesting that you're, uh, you're looking at architecture and environmental science, which is you know, obviously STEM related and not, very much not fine art related, which you have obviously excelled in. So what, what sparked your interest in that field? Um, basically, I've been watching HGTV for a while. <laughs> and um, I've just, oh, since fifth grade, I've, been, I've wanted to be an architect. I really enjoy drawing. So it's not, I wouldn't say architecture is just in the STEM field, but it incorporates a lot of different aspects of education that I really enjoy. So art, um, math, yeah, and then environmental science. This year I'm taking an environmental science class and I really enjoy that. So I'd like to mesh the two, but also in, in college, I would like to stay involved with performing. Good for you, you should. What schools are you looking at? Um, so I'm looking at, I'm looking all over, you but. Narrowed it down to 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my top right now is Middlebury College in Vermont. Very good school. Very nice, very nice yeah. school. Yeah. And in terms of, are you going to be doing a singing there as well, a cappella, you think? Or I'd hope there? to. They do have groups. I mean, they're auditioned yeah. based, so I'd have to audition. But I definitely would like to that's stay excellent. involved. Well, that's definitely your wheelhouse. <laughs> right. Well, again, on behalf of the Chelsea Rotary Club, I want to congratulate you on everything that you've undertaken and been successful at. And whether it's Middlebury or somewhere else, I wish you the very best. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next student of the month is from Whittier House, and it's <laughs> Hannah Meyerson. Hannah Meyerson has AP English Literature and Composition, AP Spanish, AP Psychology, Honors Physics and International Relations. She's also part of three honor societies, the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, and English Honor Society. She is the captain of, uh, of our soccer team and does indoor and outdoor track. And she, she also is a multiple soccer program she works at, and she does Rise for Hunger, and she hopes to study journalism in college. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Hmm. Well, first of all, Rise for Hunger is April 2nd, so sign up again. Okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> like a little plug. That's <laughs> yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be great. Anyway, um, 
You had a good soccer season. Yes. Want to talk a little bit about um, how it went? Yeah, so this was definitely the best season that we've had um, in my years of being in the program. Um, the first time since 2014 um, that we made the tournament. Um, we had a lot of returners and also a lot of strong freshmen that really made a difference um, on the field and they were able to um, be incorporated into our team right away and have starting positions. So that was really great. Track's very different. Yes. What's the appeal um, no, of that as a different sport? Well, for me, I just really need to keep busy during the year. So it's kind of a way for me to keep um, busy and keep myself organized while also kind of staying in shape for soccer. Um, I also play club soccer, so that kind of helps yeah, with sure. just staying in shape throughout the but whole do you, year. you run? Um, yeah, so I run um, mid-distance to distance. So in the winter, oh, I do. <laughs> I do, yeah. I do like the 1,000 meter, and then yeah. last spring I did the mile. So. You said you're going to study journalism. Yeah. What inspired you to go to journalism? Um, well, ever since I was little, I've been interested in like the news, and I would always just watch it when, like, in the morning before school. Um, and I've also kind of um, enjoyed writing in school. And English, I think, has definitely been one of my strongest um, subjects. Um, so I'm kind of just interested in writing and just sharing information and doing research about oh, the research. world. So, yeah. so you're, you really are. Um, you have varied interests. It's, yeah. It's wonderful. You've really um, made the most of your experience at Chelmsford High School, and you've been involved in a lot of different groups. Could you point to a person or persons who has really made an impact on you at Chelmsford High School? Um, I would probably say recently um, my English teacher last year, Mr. Bartos, um, his English class kind of um, made me realize that writing is one of my strengths and it could be something that I could pursue in the future. Um, he has also helped me this year with um, college and helped me write my college essay, which was a big help. Um, and just also just being there for me, like whenever I need to talk to him. So. Great teacher. Yeah. What schools are you looking at in Nebraska? Um, most of my schools are been in cities. I just really want to be in like that urban environment. Um, so. Um, in Boston, um, Emerson, I'm really interested in because they have a really strong journalism program, um, as well as Northeastern and BU. Yeah. 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 And being part of athletics, it takes a lot of a lot of time. Would you imagine doing any anything uh, uh, sports, sports within the college you're going to? Yeah. So Emerson's Division Three. So I've um, been in contact with the coach there, but right. possibly playing. Um, but with the larger schools, definitely club. I'm interested in. So yeah. Cool. And I also see the, on the yearbook club, yes. that's a lot of work. The yeah. So what, what is your job on that? Um, I'm just a general staff manager, but um, I'm just in charge of uploading photos, helping with the spreads of the pages, um, just kind of helping with whatever they need. And yeah. What kind of a time commitment is that? Um, we just have one meeting a week. Um, it's sometimes hard to balance with like all my sports and stuff, which are right after school, but I just try to do as much as I can and what they need me to do. So yeah. Is there anything you're looking forward to in, in, in college? Um, I think just the um, more time to like do my schoolwork and stuff, um, not having like the same class like um, every single day, and kind of just being able to manage my own time. So yeah, well, that's really important. Just remember that in the beginning, when everything seems easy, yeah, that's misleading. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. When you first get there, I got, I got all this time. Yeah. And then and all then of a sudden, you see, you know, how it, how it uh, settles out. Yeah. But um, yeah, just make sure you sit next to the right person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was not Did he say that? Uh, Could you cut that up? Exactly. No, on, on behalf of the Townsend Rotary Club, I want to uh, wish you the very best as you move on, and you've done a great job, and we're very Thank proud you. of you. Thank you. Congratulations. Way to go. Thank you. I have the honor and uh, privilege of introducing the next student of the month, who's Neil Graham, representing Whittier House. Um, Neil is an, another outstanding student, and it, it takes a, a variety of AP uh, classes um, from the STEM courses, calculus and physics, to biology, um, literature composition, Spanish, and also music, which is a big part of his life. He's taken the AP music theory. Um, he's a, he is currently serving as the treasurer of the National Honor Society. He's in the English and Spanish Honor Society. He's the founder and president of the Smash Brothers Club, which is really important. He's in the marching band. He's in a lot of different ensembles, right? The youth-led symphonic, symphonic ensemble and the wind ensemble. And like Sam, he's part of the Thursdays. We have a large contingent of a cappella singers this month. But congratulations, Neil. Thank you so much.
Well, now that he mentioned the uh, Smash Brothers Club, we got to tell oh, people what oh, it is. Absolutely. They're, gonna, oh, they're yes. gonna be concerned. Totally. <laughs> Um, so it's, uh, I established this club uh, last year with a couple of the guys, and mainly uh, what it serves to be, it's, it's, more, it's more as a, a hangout spot after school for a lot of freshmen who don't yet have a club or a community or a place to really go, but the extracurricular life here is fantastic, and I wanted to figure out a way to bring that to other people, and it's been fantastic. We have upwards of 30, 30 freshmen. We have other, we have my entire friend group. We have people all throughout the school. Freshmen are able to meet different upperclassmen and make bonds over different years. And it's been really great. It's been a lot of fun and everyone's enjoying it. What, what is the major activity? So we're, we're playing, we're playing uh, uh, the video game Super Smash Club. Okay. So well, that's going to be, yeah. so that it's, it's, yeah. um, oh, that's it's a, totally, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it, right? Oh, yeah. What uh, sparked your interest in? Neuroscience, it's not your average major. No, <laughs> no. I, my cousin currently does research <coughs> down at Michigan State. He's cur uh, currently doing genetics, but I realized how cool I thought that that kind of program was, the research and finding stuff out and making your own conclusions. And what I, I, I just, the brain is such a complex and interesting place, and I really want to know more about it and how it works and how I can help people how I can help myself. And it's just, it's yeah. really exciting to me. Yeah. That could lead to a lot of other things. Totally. Too. And you're an Eagle Scout. I am an Eagle Scout. That's impressive. What was your Eagle Scout project? So uh, my Eagle Scout project, uh, down in Sunny Meadow Farms, uh, Chelmsford, it's our community garden here. Mm -hmm. I built a, a, a small park, uh, and that's been really cool. I have, a, I have a stone benches I built. It's a really cool area. Um, the library has a storybook walk every year, and uh, that's actually going to be a stop on there. So it's a good way to uh, show the community the, the work scouting has been doing. And it was, it's really cool, and it's serving as kind of a keystone for the, for the de development of that area. That's great. Music is, is also a big oh, yeah. passion of yours, Absolutely. obviously, through the music, uh, the playing and the singing. Um, what does music mean to you, and how has it shaped you? I think music is a way to express myself when I don't know how to. It's really a way that I found myself in dark times and bright times. It's shaped me into who I am, and it's definitely my creative outlet. And I, I couldn't begin to thank the amount of people who've helped me on that way and helped me discover the talents I have and my way, it's a way to connect with others in a different way. Is that something you think you can see yourself doing in college? Totally, I'm absolutely able to do something like that, whether it's band, acapella, something else. Yeah, Those idea. bands are great. Oh yeah, yeah it's only like totally. two, two, two or three hundred people in a band. In the marching yeah. band, yeah. 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 Is there anybody you'd like to credit as having a, you know, significant influence on you? Sure. So I'm actually not from here. I'm from upstate New yeah, York, sure. uh, around Syracuse area. And okay. uh, my first real band teacher, Mr. Grosso, this is fourth grade. He introduced me to karate band, which literally I, I was playing the saxophone. <laughs> He's giving me pieces of string to tie around my instrument. It was a whole lot of fun. It really sparked yeah. my musical interest. It was a fantastic time. It's very good. <laughs> now, you were also a, a freshman mentor, and yes. you started the Smash Brothers to help freshmen come in and uh, find a place where they belong. Totally. So, do you see yourself doing any kind of mentoring when you get, when you get into college and kind of? I love that. It's something I, I'm really enjoying. I do that in Scouts right now. I, I, I love being a freshman mentor. I have really good connections with uh, all four of them, all four of them that I've had. And it's definitely something I'm interested in. I, I, I like helping other people out, and it's a really rewarding experience. It shows. That's great. So again, on behalf of the Chelmsford Rotary Club, I want to present you with this plaque and wish you the very best as you go on. And uh, I know with this background that you have, not only from upstate New York, but from here, that you'll be very successful. So best of luck. Thanks so much. Congratulations, Dale. Congratulations. <clears throat> Um, I would like to now introduce Hawthorne House Student of the Month, and um, first we'll go with Isabel Cole. Isabel is an outstanding student, like all the others. Um, she's taking some high-level courses and college-level courses in psychology and English, or literature and composition. She's also taking calculus, physics, and uh, mock trial, or common law and trial procedures, which is a wonderful course. Um, as just a few of, of her uh, courses that she's taken, she's also a natural leader. She's a current president of our National Honor Society and the vice president of our student council. Um, she's been a four-year varsity soccer player 
And one of her real passions through uh, the years is through service. Um, it's, it's something that she feels, not only feels passionate about, but is proactively improving the lives of others. It's, it's a real um, center for her. So congratulations, Isabel. Thank you, very happy to be here. Yes, congratulations. When you came to Rotary, um, you talked about a lot of things, but I think the thing that um, really showed your passion is this uh, 13 Reasons to Fly. So maybe we'll start with that and tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. Um, so there's definitely a lot to it, but for people that don't know what it is, um, last year I started a nonprofit called 13 Reasons to Fly to try and shift the stigma surrounding mental illness, um, as I've struggled with it myself, as I know many of my peers have, um, but no one really talks about it. So I started this uh, campaign to counter a Netflix series that really added stigma around um, mental illness and suicide. And so I thought we should start of to think of 13 Reasons to Fly and hold on to hope. Um, and so since it's been going on for a year, <coughs> so I have started chapters at different um, hospitals, schools, and places of worship where I go in, um, share my story, but then more importantly, try and establish their reasons of hope um, and what they, different coping skills they can use in the future. So. Very good. You've been on some mission trips with the church. Yes. Where have you gone? Um, so I've been on some smaller mission trips to uh, Pennsylvania twice, um, to Florida, but my favorite one was to Nicaragua uh, my freshman year, and that has sparked so many interests for me, um, especially you know, wanting to do this in the future and travel and do all that kind of thing. Um, the work we did was specifically to install water filters um, in different villages there, as well as we went into different clinics and, um, you know, helped them because it was like a doctor's office, but they only get to see the doctor every two months and it was filled, um, there was 50 people filled in a sanctuary. So not only is that a wake up call for me, like this is what their doctors looks like, um, but it's also, <coughs> you know, made me realize that they need so much help and there's so much to be grateful for. So the water issue is a huge one. A lot of times we hear internationally about disease, but stepping back a little bit, that they have the disease because of the, because of the water, water quality. Exactly. So. What college are you looking at? Um, so I have a list of eight schools, but um, I'm really set on my top choices, which are Salve Regina in Newport, um, and then Holy Cross in Worcester. Another organization that you've been involved in since eighth grade is uh, Project 351, which is a you know, wonderful organization. Can you tell, tell everyone a little bit about what that organization does and yeah. why it's been important to you? Of course. Um, so I think that's developed me as a person so much and not a lot of people know about it. Um, so it's named Project 351 because it takes 351 um, people from 351 towns in Massachusetts and selects them based on leadership and community service ideas. Um, and so they picked me for that in eighth grade to represent Chelmsford, but since then it's become so much more than that. Um, and I've really found my passion for service and for leadership and for helping other people. Um, and through this organization we go on, they lead us in different service um, adventures. So I, every fall and spring, lead a clothing drive and a food drive at in Chelmsford. Um, but that's part of a statewide service of over 400 kids. So it's really amazing and it's also helped me um, see that I really want to lead which you have. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and you're best buddies treasurer. Yes. How, how long have you been uh, best buddies and what uh, do you like so much about it? So I've uh, been a part of that since sophomore year and ever since I um, went to best buddies it's changed my life. Um, so I have a buddy named Natalie and she has not only shown me what pure joy is and what taught me so many lessons about life but um, through best buddies I've found a passion for special education um, and I think that that's something I want, really want to explore in the future. So. That's impressive. You've heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, on behalf of the Townsend Rotary Club, which is a service organization, yes. and uh, we have multiple water projects going on in different parts of the world all the time, so later mm -hmm. on you can join Rotary. Yes, but <laughs> in the meantime, best of luck as you go forward in college and enjoy yourself. Thank you. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Last but not least of our students of the month uh, for November is Evan Wang. Evan is also representing Hawthorne House. Uh, Evan is a, um, an excellent student and a leader um, and has helped really set the bar for uh, the class of 2019. He's taking multiple AP classes, calculus, uh, English, AP research, AP Spanish, um, just to, to name a few. He is the um, 
president of our student council and the treasurer of the of the senior class. So he has two very prominent uh, leadership positions, um, and really, like I said, has helped to shape the tone of of the culture of the school this year, and has done so with a lot of integrity and grace. Um, he's also a great athlete, an excellent soccer player. So he really has um, made its impact in all different areas of Chelmsford High School. Congratulations, Evan. Thank you. Congratulations. You guys had a great soccer season. We'll talk a little bit about that. Oh yeah. So. Um, yeah, I think this has been the best season we've had in at least since I've been at the high school. So uh, officially, I think we went 13, 4, and 2. That's impressive. Um, and, you know, just I know this group of players my senior year and the year below me. Uh, we've been playing together for, you know, since we were kids. So at least like 10 years, I'd say. Yeah. And we've just been developing that bond and that chemistry. And we've grown so much as players, I felt it was fitting that, you know, my senior year, we pull off something that very few years at uh, the soccer program at Chelsea High School have accomplished. Yeah. So you were fun to watch. I didn't see you a lot of times. I saw Westford in, I guess, a couple of months. Yeah. You're the treasurer of the class, and we had a pep rally last week. It was probably the best pep rally I've had in the four years I've been here as well run. What is the, uh, the most challenging part of being treasurer of the class? Uh, well, it's definitely a lot of responsibility, um, especially since basically I'm the person that has to make sure our funds are in check uh, and that you know we pay the people that we need to pay and we get the, mo the money that we need to get. And so, um, yeah, it's just a ton of, of work. Every F block for me, it's just I'm in Ms. Swanson's room, I'm counting money. I'm making deposits. You know, all the secretaries at the main office know me by name now <laughs> because I'm just in there, in and out so much. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a lot of time, but it's also very rewarding too. So you have a couple, uh, you know, pretty prominent positions of leadership at Chelmsford High School. What do you think it takes to become an effective leader? What what kind of traits or characteristics do you think that you hope hope to possess and, and do uh, that are important? Well, uh, I think first of all, in order to be a good leader, you have to have uh, good time management skills, especially in my case. Uh, I find, uh, especially during the fall season, uh, between soccer, student council, and my class, you know, they, there was a lot of overlap, and without an effective way to manage my time and making sure I get things done on time, uh, I don't think I would have you know, gotten through all those activities. And then also compassion as well. That's something that I hope to develop. Uh, I feel like you know I, I have to an extent, but it's something that you can always work on, and it's something that um, just improves every day with every interaction you have. And you have to be compassionate with other people so that they believe in you as a leader, you know, because you believe in them as people that you know are uh, followers of your vision, you know. Well said. Yeah. And leaders are compassionate, and you volunteer as is, is the SOS for PAWS. Mm -hmm. What is that, and where is that? Uh, it is uh, an animal shelter in Lowell. It's a pretty small one. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, um, I volunteered there since the summer of my eighth grade. And uh, it was just a place, um, it started out, I think, at most maybe like 20, 20 or so cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I just liked that it was just a small operation. I got to have a lot of hands-on time with the animals. And you know, I, I like animals as well. So it just taught me a lot about uh, how to care for things um, and how to care for things that uh, really didn't have a voice or, or needed help. They were all strays and stuff too. So. What schools are you looking at? I'm looking at Northwestern is my top choice out in Evanston. And uh, you know, schools like BC, UC Berkeley, UCLA, stuff like that. Great. Yeah. Are you playing volleyball this spring? I am playing volleyball. You were good last year. I know. How well, are we, we going to be this year? Uh, no comment. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't put any. I don't want to put any top uh, expectations oh, yeah. on us, yeah. but oh. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, last year was certainly fun to follow. Yeah. So, on behalf of the cool. Chelmsford Rotary Club, I wish you the very best Thank and you. congratulate you on all the stuff that you've done for Chelmsford. Thank you. Good for you, Evan. Congratulations. And that concludes this edition of Lions Pride. And once again, I want to say congratulations and, and thank you to our November Students of the Month. We look forward to seeing you in December so we can celebrate December Students of the Month. Thank you for joining us.